improving operational capability. Now, whenever this topic is uh, talked of, one has seen um, a lot of uh, examples being taken from the Japanese firms and uh, people talk about lean and better inventory management and things like that. However, if someone is considering a process plant, a chemical process plant, which um, basically takes an ore takes an ore as an input and goes through a processing cycle and then gives an output which is uh, sold in the market and often this is also a commodity then the then the challenge here to improve operational efficiency is very different uh, now what what happens in some cases is that um, the plants over time they get old it's it's a known fact therefore they require more maintenance and more maintenance means more money being spent on some activities here the raw material which was available at a certain price maybe the ore or maybe some of the additives which is used in the ore for the processing they become scarcer because they are being used up over time and therefore they need to be coming from far off places so the cost of raw material starts increasing so when the cost of raw material start increasing the plant requires more time and uh, more more maintenance the cost of overall plant goes higher at the same time um, substitutes in the markets come up over time say in 30 35 years better substitutes come up for that particular commodity with the plant force manufacturing and that's coupled with another problem of better processes coming up so if the earlier process needed uh, or twice um, heating the current process takes only requires only one time heating so when uh, heating twice versus heating once obviously heating once requires lesser quality of uh, lesser amount of energy and therefore the cost of the product goes down so given these kind of considerations it's very important for the managers who are there in the existing plants which are the process plants to be able to constantly be on their toes to manage and improve the operational ability so that they don't land up in a scenario where their plant becomes totally uh, unviable what I'll do is that I'll break this up uh, into into four aspects first is the product so when these managers are trying to manage what do they try to manage or or beyond managing what is the pure chemical engineering in this plant going to be all about one is product the second thing is all about processing the third thing is about handling all the costs which come up and the fourth thing is understanding the financials now you would see that I have handled I've looked at cost and financials separately because in this context the two are very different so as and when uh, as I've talked of is this chemical uh, is, is this processing plant where the output is often the commodity it's important for the chemists and the product designers and the R&D labs to work so that they can constantly produce higher value products which can beat the commodity cycle and at the same time constantly do work so that they can have better and better byproducts they can look at more byproducts which can come out which can actually help in uh, extract bit more and more byproducts so that they can uh, help fill in the revenue gaps or increase the revenue of the plant from the processing side what's important is that the time required to process time required to complete a process uh, should be going down constantly now how does this happen so in a, in a purely commercial terms what is uh, we know that uh, I have talked of the CCC cycle in another video the CCC cycle must go down so if today it is 29 days it must go down to 27 25 and be a continuous process till the time that the, it's not feasible anymore the equipment downtime should
should be reduced should be minimized so that if it is minimized what will happen is that the plant uptime increases so therefore you are getting more throughput process improvements must be carried out on a continuous basis so that there's, there's no lag the plant doesn't lag behind automation so that improved decision making can happen and quicker decision res and response management can happen and at the same time better SOPs be designed standard operating procedures so that the plant uh, the workers who are there who are handling the various things no different aspects of it now remember that uh, over time as and when equipment keep on changing in the plant and various gauges keep on changing the SOPs might need to be revised and it's very important that these SOPs are available in a standard format for running the plant when we're talking of cost there are various costs that the plant incurs first of course is the raw material cost and the additives and the fillers you know which comes which is required for the chemical process they have to be under control they might go out of control nothing goes without a warning but people need to be understanding that the costs are going out the next is inventory the kind of inventory that has been carried out remember that earlier when the plant has been set in operation say around 20 years back based on the logistic system which was available at that time the inventory uh, levels were defined so as the logistic systems improve over time or the lead time for delivery gets reduces the inventory must be reduced accordingly the consumables which are required can can lesser and lesser of them be consumed and can recycling be done of the various energy steam or um, the the byproducts or or the after flushing with water whatever concentrate comes out can that be recycled for better efficiency and of course better management of all these things you know including um, so that so that people are trying to give their best to make an old plant deliver in a competitive manner with the new plants the next bit is that all of this while this is being done all of this has to do be done in a manner so that the financials overall financial condition of the plant improves now what do I mean by financial conditions while at one side the plant and old plant will be fully depreciated or the depreciation level is way down so 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 while the fixed costs are very low in a different way the variable costs start going higher you know because of the various factors we have talked of now while the fixed cost is going down and the variable cost is going up this is a need to understand the financials of this plant so that all the people involved can constantly work towards reducing the working capital they can work towards better cash management and uh, the, the the fundamentals of finance which is like you know the profitable products the right product mix for higher profitability should be um, taken care of so that this plant is able to produce so while at one point of time able to stay competitive so while at one side of the story the raw material cost or the variable cost go high the other side of the story is that the fixed cost may be going low so managers must be understanding they must understand these things and then do their best so that all of this works in a tandem and in a strategic manner to deliver deliver if this doesn't happen what I have seen over time is that when plants don't work in this manner they work at 110 percent efficiency there, there are and when they do not get modernized in a timely manner they will be having processes which are outdated and when there are outdated processes they cannot stay competitive as a result of it what happens is that a plant which has not been modernized over time the key business drivers change over the 30 years or 20 years of operation and when the fundamental key business drivers change there might be a condition there might be a state when the cost of output of the plant is more becomes more than the price of the product in the market.
now this this is a very very dangerous situation that can happen and if if this happens that that clearly means that somewhere this whole part of synergizing between the product cost processing and financials has been out of out of sync and and while people are working harder and harder while uh, where 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 we say that you know uh, while people might be working harder but they are definitely working hard to not to save a sinking ship but they are working harder to drown the ship so in this kind of an approach what is very important for the process plant of this nature to modernize to to constantly figure out the product processing costs and financials combination and at the end of the day when the time comes to perhaps let the plant go then they have to let the plant go and adopt new technology right from the scratch it's important that all of these aspects are understood well and at the right time the right decisions are taken because in a process plant uh, the process is not waiting it's 24 by 7 operations and when it is 24 by 7 operations everything has to be done at the speed and always on 